Well, hungry lunchgoers are flocking to the Cowlitz Crossing Fuel and Convenience Store. You could say that they're crossing the road near a and Casino. Yes, they are. That store has attracted so much attention that it's now receiving a major honor for its food and one item in particular. Cor Harlan live this morning in Ridgefield with why so many people are headed there for a bite to eat. Cor? Ken, the operative words are bird shack chicken. <laughs> As you mentioned, the uh, casino, the convenience store here, fuel and convenience store at the Callis Crossing, has won an award from Chester's International. It's up here on the board, Bird Shack Fried Chicken Volume Achievement Award. All right? So now what that means is out of 200 West Coast locations that serve uh, Bird Shack Chicken under the Chester's uh, umbrella, this is a place that serves the most chicken out of all 200 outlets. Sarah Engelhardt, Engelhard, he tried to say, is with us here this morning. How many chicken tenders last year were sold from this location? Uh, 315,000 pieces for last year. That's 20, what did you say? 22,000 20, a month. 22,000 of these chicken tenders every month right here. Now, the question is, now you got two kinds of chicken. You got regular chicken, you got spicy chicken. What makes this chicken so good? Um, well, it's fresh, never frozen, and we do a, a double breading um, and a mixture with a special bird shack batter. And uh, we do frying in a chicken fryer, which uh -huh. makes it um, special and mm. keeps all the juices in and all the breading on to uh -huh. make it as delicious as possible. I just happen to have a, a fork in my pocket. Okay. Before we move on to some of this, I want to just cut into some of this. Now, it's Fresh, never frozen. How does, that's in this in this day and age, in this world where things are coming from all over the planet. How does that work? Fresh, never frozen. Well, we try to stay local with our vendors mm -hmm. to make sure that we have the ability to um, keep the product fresh for our guests mm -hmm. to um, make the chicken the highest quality possible mm -hmm. um, all the time. So um, we stay with local vendors and we keep it consistent. It's double hand battered, you say, too, Double right? hand breaded, yes. Double hand breaded, all right. Yep. And the sauces are a big part of chicken, too, are they not? Yes, they nice. are. So barbecue, what have we, you got all these crazy kind of sauces here. This barbecue is my favorite, right? Yeah, we have um, all different kinds of Bird Shack brand sauces, as well as Champs, which is a parent of the Bird Shack brand that we have available all of the time to enjoy your chicken with. Carl, bring it in here a little closer here. I'll give you a look at this is the box here. This is what's for breakfast this morning at the A A Casino. That's mac and cheese, mouth-watering mac and cheese, Jojo, and some chicken tenders in there. Oh, they're no better. You, you eat this once during the day, you don't need to eat the rest of the day, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. Is that right? Correct. Come on, yes, go it's a full meal. And you know what? Why would you just leave a thing of mac and cheese sitting there without taking a bite out of it? That is good. Well, I'm not saying that. I love food, but man, that is good. Mac and cheese. 310,000, 315,000 315, yep. chicken tenders they sold here. Out of 200 locations on the West Coast, the highest volume leader here. And Ken and Emily will bring it back to you with a little dip in some of that barbecue sauce right there. Well, that's a good stuff. And this is spicy too, right? It's spicy, yeah. This is yep. spicy, yeah. Uh -huh. Hey, hey. <laughs> all right. We we will be happy to taste Come test on, man. and add to some of their uh, their sales numbers because clearly that is they're a breakfast of champions right there. Yeah, <laughs> turning out a lot of chicken. Yeah, uh, for people who uh, live mm -hmm. around that area, they actually you know make the trip there just for that. Just for the chicken. Well, you know, if yeah. you're like uh, Ridgefield, the center, even Vancouver. I believe it. Yeah, I mean, if you have a stop. chicken tender spot, I mean, anyone, any of my my southeastern transplants know uh, uh, Publix and and the chicken tender pub sub. I know that's a that's a very niche comment in this neck of the woods, but <laughs> yeah, if if you have your go to spot for chicken tenders, you mm -hmm. you go there. You will drive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, even with the high gas prices. I've been looking for a good replacement ever since I, I had to leave Publix behind. So maybe I need to make the trip up today. Yeah, a little convenient.